going on classers turn 56 from iconic bringing you a base breakdown video of this guy right here um, I'm not sure if this base has a name um, if anybody knows uh, that there's a name to this you know let me know in the comments section and I'll add it to the video information sheet um, so I'll just go through this uh, really quickly um, with the screenshot I'm going to show you where the traps were I knew where they were it's a cleanup attack I'll show you my plan and then we will watch the replay of this one um, so Tesla's in these very very obvious locations right here uh, double giant bombs in these even more obvious locations right here just horrible giant bomb locations so easy to pop don't know what this guy was thinking um, and then two skeleton traps both right there um, so the plan to take advantage of all this uh, was to send in one hog from the west he's gonna grab these two skeleton traps I'm gonna send in one more hog from the south he's gonna pop those two bombs uh, one hog to take out two bombs yeah horrible base design. Uh, I've got two giants. I'm going to drop them here to grab the clan castle lure. They managed to get it all. Um, note that I dropped these with a little bit of delay between the first and the second in case there's a spring trap. I didn't want the spring trap to be able to get both my giants. That would have made it a lot harder to get that lure. Um, and then I was meant to drop one more hog up here to take out these guys here. Um, but he got a little feisty on me and he came down to this cannon so that didn't work um, I probably should have dropped another one from a slightly different angle like maybe over here to try to get those but um, I just decided to move on with my attack I wasn't too worried about those uh, because that is where my kill squad is coming from so now that I've got these skeleton traps grabbed these bombs popped and the clan castle lured I bring them all up here to the north that's where my kill squad is. I got uh, witches, my AQ, wizards, usual stuff. While they are dealing with the clan castle right around there, I drop my single golem. He ends up right here. I drop my wall breakers offset up here. Um, one of the biggest reasons I see wall breaker fails on golem attacks is because people drop them right behind the golems. That's a big no-no. All this splash damage down here is keyed in on this golem. You don't want your wall breakers in that line of fire. So whenever you can, stagger them. You want your golems one place. You want your wall breakers somewhere else where they're not going to be attacked, where they're not going to get hit by all this garbage uh, splash damage. Um, and while that's going on, I also have a couple wizards to create my funnel, taking out those buildings there creates a perfect funnel they're gonna go in this wall breaker gap everybody proceeds in nicely and while I do lose some of my DPS to those double giant bombs it goes very smoothly they come down they kill the AQ right around here um, and at that point it's hog time I drop my hogs uh, three finger drop over here I like to two or three finger drop my hogs every time no matter how many defenses I'm aiming them at just to get them in the fight quickly um, and I wait until they take out those three defenses and my first heal goes down here um, I always like to let my hogs do a little bit of work before I drop my heal um, they can last they can take out a building sometimes too before they need a heal um, so that's always helpful uh, they proceed in here they funnel very nicely and so they're all coming in and, and they all meet up together on this Tesla or excuse me on that expo uh, from there they actually split in two I, I wasn't sure if they would do that or not but it didn't create any problems because I had a heal there um, I'd say I probably had one around there and one around there um, so was able to cover them almost every single step of the way while they were standing uh, and attacking defenses they were standing in heels uh, so that was the plan and uh, I, I'd say it went really well other than missing these two double giant bombs with that one hog and not being able to pop them everything went really well so uh, let's go ahead and check out the replay 
Okay, so we're back up here. Let's go ahead and check out the replay. So, two hogs in, one to grab the skellies, one to pop those bombs. A couple giants will grab that clan castle lure for me. And there's the hog that misfires a little bit. Um, like I said, probably should have sent in one more just for the heck of it. I had plenty of hogs left, but um, what can I say? I'm a stickler for the plan, sometimes to a fault. So, uh, clan castle kill goes uh, very smoothly, very easily, no problems there. Um, the early AQ drop really helps with that. Um, I dropped those first two wizards to create my funnel too soon. I should have let that golem get in there first and draw the fire, so then I drop a couple more wizards. Um, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, the golem doesn't pop either one of those big bombs. It's my witches and wizards that get the brunt of that. Um, so, not a lot of DPS in my kill squad anymore, but more than enough to take out that queen as soon as she goes down. There are the hogs. Um, and, you know, piece of cake from there. Uh, I still have the Degolomites that are tanking for my heroes. Um, hogs are pathing through very nicely here. There's the split, um, but uh, able to keep them in heals almost the entire time at this point the only even minor threat left on this base in my opinion is that enemy barb king and he is going to get overwhelmed here very quickly by all the dps that i have as soon as those hogs are done taking care of the defenses uh, they're going to start working on cleanup i've got both my heroes up still and uh, a couple wizards making their way around the base as well so uh, a couple little mistakes, not everything went according to plan, but uh, enough things went according to plan for a, a nice easy three star. Um, so there you go guys, I hope you uh, learned a little something about how I like to break down a base. Um, Hago Wee Wee, my favorite attack style. Um, love being able to look at a base in war and uh, see how I'm going to be able to attack it with Hago. I uh, always feel pretty confident with that one. So uh, that'll do it for this recap. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to have uh, the War Recap 95 in this video both coming out tonight and hopefully lots and lots of more content coming out in the future. So uh, keep on clashing, you guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.